Hi everybody, um, this is your instructor for COM 403 Issues in Cyberspace and my name is Elizabeth Foman. Um, I want to welcome all of the students to the class. I'm producing this video because I've gotten a lot of questions about how to use C-Tools and um, I'm going to show you a couple things in C-Tools right now in the video um, to help you kind of get started in the course. Um, as time goes on I will produce more of these videos to show you how to do the different things we're going to be doing on the web. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Um, this is your C-Tools interface. When you log in, you click up here in the upper right where there's a red arrow. And you need your Kerberos password and your unique name. Once you log into the class, if you have um, more than one class, you're going to need to select um, the Issues in Cyberspace course, which is COM403, and I'm doing that over here on the right. Um, if you don't have as many classes as I do, it might appear up here at the top on one of these tabs, but um, in my case, I have to go to COM403. Now, I want to tell you right now that when you look at my interface, you're going to see a lot more tools than you'll have available as a student. So don't be alarmed if you see some extra things in the video here um, that you wouldn't see on your own interface because uh, I have more access to... Uh, a different kind of tools. So here we are. This is the C Tools uh, main page for uh, COM403. I have a number of links here. Um, most of these we aren't going to be using right away. As time goes on, I'll be um, explaining how you guys can use these various tools. The three things that I'm going to talk about today are this main page here with the recent announcements and the recent discussion items, how to use the discussion threads, how to look at your resources and how to use the chat room because I will have office hours within the chat room that you guys can meet with me if you have any questions and this is a live chat room and I'll send you an email let you know what time so here what I'm gonna do is first is just show you the course um, information here on this first page this is the worksite information uh, just a quick explanation of the class over here are the recent announcements from me down here, we scroll a little bit, you see the recent discussion items and the recent chat messages. So let's go ahead and take a look at the resources first. I'm going to go ahead and click resources. And I've organized the resources for this particular course in order of each week. So our first week here is the introduction in issues in cyberspace. It's called week one. Um, you go ahead and click that. It's an actual web page and it has a video in it that shows me introducing you and if you scroll down the web page here you'll see all the material this is of course the sort of syllabus and information that you need to know for the class how to submit assignments etc etc and then down here at the bottom you'll see a few links to videos and other websites so some of these web pages might be kinda long and you just have to go over to the right and scroll bar them up now I've got a second tab here I'm just gonna go back so that's the resources area. By the way, up here in this blue bar on C Tools, you'll see this little arrow right here. If I mouse over it, it kind of switches so it goes up. This allows you to navigate the directory structure. Just go ahead and click that to go back up to the main resources page. So now let's take a look at the discussion threads. I've asked you folks to post a couple things in the discussion threads. I'm going to go ahead and click that right now. I will initialize the posts. I'll give you a, a title here, and you folks can go ahead and, and answer that by clicking on these little contents here. So let me show you that first. Here's the contents. And then you can see that other students have already answered all of the information here. Now, it, what's frustrating about C-Tools is you would think you could answer them here, but you can't. The place to answer your discussion threads is here right here when you see expand all if you click on expand all it will display all of the discussion threads in this manner and here's Bethany has already given me a a good morning message here so I'm gonna go ahead and click on her message so I can read it in the discussion thread and it appears down below here now if you have a number of discussion threads or you have a really long one it might have to be scrolled down a little bit more and you would scroll it here I just want to point out there's two scroll bars apparent here. If you go over to the right where my mouse is moving right now, this scroll bar scrolls the whole window. There's a secondary scroll bar right here that allows you to see the entire discussion thread. 
And this is a very long discussion thread, so you see I'm going down looking at all the students' responses and my responses to them. So remember, you want to click Expand All to get to this view. Once you get to this view, then you can reply to messages. I'm going to go down to the bottom here where Bethany's message is, and I'm going to say Reply to Message. And I'm going to give my message a title. And it's a good idea to give the title um, some real meaning. Um, because that's what shows up in the in the title of the thread. And I'm just going to say reply to Bethany and say welcome to the class. There we go. Now you'll notice you'll have to scroll down to the bottom here to add your reply and click the button right here. So now you'll see I have a brand new reply to Bethany's post and all I did was click on her, her initial message like this and then I said reply so that's how you can add to the discussion threads a couple students have asked me that um, in email and I wanted to make sure that you you knew to use the expand all tool to get your messages to display that's right here expand all okay I hope you guys uh, don't have any more questions oh I have one more thing let's take a look at your chat room to talk to me inside the chat room you have to be logged into C tools I'm gonna go ahead and click chat room right now and it doesn't look like much has happened, but um, if you take a look here, we've got a little bit of a recorded chat from earlier in the day. If you are in the chat room, your name will appear over here where it says Users and Chat. So you want to be sure to click on this link here before you can get into the chat room. And then you enter your chat responses down here in this little box at the bottom. I'm just going to add a quick message here. And quick add message. Now you'll notice in the discussion threads that each student's name shows up in a different color. This is supposed to help you keep track of who's saying what. Um, and if you look down this this uh, string of messages here, um, you can see I was having a conversation with another student. So anytime you guys want to meet me in the chat room, I'll send you an email the times that I'll be in there. You can come in and ask questions um, and hopefully I can answer them and um, we'll be good to go. So I hope this helps you folks get an idea of how to use um, C tools. Like I said, when we get into using forums and the gradebook and some of these other things, I'll produce another video for you and kind of explain and show you as best as I can how you can uh, navigate the C tools system. So welcome to the class, and I hope to see you all in in online soon. Talk to you. Talk to you later. Bye.